Hello and welcome back to a brand new season of Unsung Hero, this time in FIFA 20. Uh, the first episode will feature Mantolas. Why didn't I start uh, earlier in the in the game? Because I wasn't good at the game, so I tried to get a bit better. Played uh, one week of foot champs, so... Uh, he has okay stats, plays in the Greek League, which uh, isn't good to link him with anyone. Basically, uh, you can use icons to link him, but I don't have an icon yet. I put him in this team, just a bunch of random players. Really want to use the Martinez, which I packed from my for champs rewards. Uh, but yeah, let's see what this guy can do. And the first opponent of the episode has a really, really good team. Uh, like a Z and Aubameyang in uh, strikers and uh, Zaha behind them. Really, really dangerous. And then, very beginning of the game, he does a really, really nice trick with Aubameyang. Really fools me and scores a great goal. 1-0 down, can't really be mad about it because it's just a really, really good uh, move. I uh, immediately sub on Mares, uh, and here I prove I'm the dumbest idiot alive, because I don't know why I do that. But then Mats Hummels will prove why he's in my team. Absolute savior, because if I go 2-0 down, the game's probably over, because I I really struggle to come back into games. Then here ball to Quadrado, reaches the back line, tries to find someone in front of goal, reaches Kidira, uh, gets a bit lucky to get the ball back. Game still, uh, yeah, well, the chance is not over yet. Try to reach the ball again, and again, nothing happens. But uh, at this time, I was actually knocking on the door, really, really creating a lot of chance. Here, Mantolas gets a shot, doesn't finish it, but the ball's not away yet. Fortunas gets it back, back to Mantolas, which is the back line again, because I saw he wasn't defending it. And then I get a bit lucky that, that Mares reaches the ball, but great goal. My opponent never really covered the back line when I used one of my wingers, so I yeah, basically abused it every time. Because he would stop defending, so why not? Then uh, a bit later here, I'm just playing out from the back, uh, like I did in FIFA 19, just calmly trying to reach uh, the goal. Here Martinez with an absolute blistering shot, keeper saves it. I really like Martinez uh, also as a passer in a two-striker system. Here Mantolas to Martinez, Martinez goes through on goal, I thought well this must be a goal, doesn't finish. But, like I said earlier, I was really really feeling that I would yeah, actually score a goal very very soon, because my opponent was really struggling. And then Socrates, really great defensive effort, reaches Martinez, Martinez with a cheeky pass to Mantolas and he scores his first goal of the episode. One goal, one assist, really, really great. And you thought, well, what an exciting first half. Second half, nothing happens. Small chances for uh, the both of us, but really nothing happened in the game. Uh, first win uh, of the day. So uh, Amantolas is actually man of the match with a goal and assist. Really, really great. But let's see uh, who's my second opponent. The second opponent has a, well, interesting team, I would say. Uh, a couple of really good cards like uh, Pogba and uh, Usman Dembele and, of course, uh, Sadio Mane. But he immediately subbed off Haller for uh, Scream Ibrahimovic and you can see why uh, immediately. Here, bad defending for me. I play way too aggressive and, okay, he scores a rebound goal, but still, I played way too aggressive uh, with, I think, Hummels or Socrates. Uh, but he scores a rebound goal and uh, yeah, then you know I can score a rebound goal too. One of the ugliest goals I've ever scored in FIFA, I think. Absolute bullshit. I even apologized in-game because I thought, well, this is just horrible. It has nothing to do with FIFA. Uh, but my opponent was way, way better in the first half. Well, he was better the entire game, I felt like. Uh, because that Ibrahimovic card is amazing. Really, really nice shot. Okay, it gets a bit lucky that he gets the ball back from my defender immediately off I, I, uh, I won the ball back, but still. Really, really nice goal. I should have closed out a bit quicker and, and yeah, but I didn't. Then 60th minute, uh, I wasn't really creating a lot of chances, but here Mantolas goes through on goal. And when you put him in a striker, he's deadly. He doesn't need many chances to score. Proves it again right here. And I thought, well, 2-2. Really good, but then he gets a counter-attack with his quick players in front. Here he gets the ball to uh, Sadio Mane and he scores a goal. I was gutted when this happened because I felt like with how the second half went that 2-2 would be, well, more logical because I even created more chances than him. But yeah, 2-3, so I, I was pissed at this moment. Uh, so I didn't want to end the episode because normally, as you know, I play two games. But I was really pissed, so I decided to play another game. 
just to see if we can actually win a game. Because even if you're gonna see the, the match stats, I was playing better than him in the second half. He just, yeah, was a bit more, yeah, was lucky basically. Uh, my final opponent has a really, really strong team. Couple of informs, Lucas Digne for champs reward. So you know this guy can actually play FIFA. Uh, and overall, just a really, really nice team that Hyunmin Song is really expensive. So, and I play with the garbage informs. Martinez gets the ball. Yeah, I get lucky, he reaches the Martinez again, and then he hits the post. And I score a rebound goal with Mantolas. Rebound goals are bullshit, I still apologize. But as a striker, he proves again that he's always at the right uh, place at the right time. Then he gets a quick counter attack with Lucas Moira, and he does yeah, the scoop turn. And Farman goes in really, really bad. That's 100% a penalty, but the opponent tried it every time, even after this, and I never felt for it again. So uh, I learned my lesson from this one. He's going to take the penalty with Hungman Son, but uh, Farman makes up for it mistake and saves the penalty, so great move. Then we're in the second half, uh, Holebas reaches Mantolas, Mantolas sees Martinez, Martinez back to Mantolas, Mantolas back to Martinez. Great turn, easy goal. 2-0 up and my opponent decides to rage quit. I can see why, because he wasn't really creating many chances, even though his players were a lot better than mine. So I, I could see why he would uh, decide to leave. But, and again, a great game from Antolas. A goal and an assist again in his final game. Really, really great. As you can see, he had more chances than me. Didn't feel like in the game, but you see, your perception of how a game goes is uh, sometimes not really what uh, the reality is. But everyone who plays FIFA knows that, I think. So what can I say about uh, three games of Mantolas? Uh, he actually surprised me. I really like playing with him. FIFA was actually really good as a striker. Created a lot of opportunities, even for Martinez, but also for himself. Uh, bad thing is you can never really link him because you will need a Greek league team or Greek players to link him. And no one's going to use them. But I think I will use him as a super sub. I mean, three games, three goals, two assists. That's not bad. But that's going to be all for this week's episode of Unsung Hero. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the episode. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.